Right then, Ranger, we're here. Fences are failing all over the park. One of the loose dinosaurs is in this area. We don't know exactly what it is. Tracking systems are still in their infancy. But we know something's here. All right, it's time to get out of the pad heap. Let's use this new state-of-the-art weapon they gave us. Command, we're in the spot. This is Muldoon. I repeat, we're in the spot. Over. Roger that, sir. Getting out of here. Getting out of the way. I'm on the ground. Stay near the jeep. If it ambushes you, I can help. Roger that. Got the weapon loaded and locked. Right then, now where is our friend? No idea, sir. But I am hearing a little bit of rumble in the jungle. Let me see that. So, this is the new state-of-the-art Trank Dart rifle, huh? Semi-automatic. And that makes things a lot easier. Especially for the big ones, like Tyrannosaur. Yeah, sure beats having to use a bolt action. Unfortunately, it's the only one we got, so... Be gentle with it. Of course, such a fine piece of technology deserves to survive. Now let's move in. Don't have a lot of time. Wait a minute. You hear that? Sir, there's something in the jungle. Directly in front of us. Keep your eyes peeled and don't let your eyes off of it. I hear it. There it is! Look! Over there! What? Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh. 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 oh! Well, that's not very scary, is it? Oh! Just a Paris of office. Try and get and let's get out of here. Roger that. <clears throat> Don't forget to call in the capture teams. We can't drag it back with a jeep. Don't worry about this. It shouldn't hurt too bad. Shot away. Nailed him. That thought says it's fast acting. That Paris Rolifer should be down relatively soon. Roger that, sir. Bringing with the command, letting them know the job is complete. Compound, compound, this is Jeep D. You gave us quite a scare. Although, to be honest, I'm quite glad it's just you. Not one of the loose carnivores. We have to get this thing settled up, don't we? Because you and us. I'm gonna be in danger on this island. Gotta get this all settled up before the park opens. You, you can just rest for now. Where's our ranger teams to come and capture this thing? We need it back in its enclosure. Under that, sir. They're sending out units as we speak. Hammond! Hammond, you need to get your damn park up and running. This is a joke. 
All of our fences are failing. And what are we going to do when the Tyrannosaur gets loose? Hammond, you said this wouldn't happen. Now settle down, Maldo. You will get it up and running. This is just an unforeseen hurdle. But we will jump over it. I assure you. We judge it to return back to the compound. We'll discuss more then. Ham and out. favorite. Huh. Well, we found the Triceratops. And it seems to be fine. This one's just the juvenile. Not nearly as big as our full-grown. I assure you, I assure you, it's quite glorious. This one's just a juvenile, as I said. But, nevertheless, juvenile adult needs to be back in its pen. So we need to guide it there. John, I don't think the thing is happy. I think she's coming towards us as well. Hammond, attacking the jeep. No. Don't honk the horn, it's scary. It'll only make you mad. Just if we gotta hold out. Hopefully this thing will lose interest in us. Don't like that. Alright, alright, fine. Just, I hope you're right. Let's grab enough to trample. Why this thing right now? The jeep doesn't even know how much this thing costs. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, it seems like it's leaving. At least leaving us alone. But whose idea was it that to bring at least a train dart rifle? Ugh. <sighs> All right, now slowly follow it. We need to lead it back to where we need it. Yes, slowly, I assume. Yes, Hammond. Where is Ian Malcolm, by the way? He's on the Explorers. Keeping an eye out for any more escapees. <laughs> With them, right? Of course not. Ellie's tending to other matters in the park. Why?
Well, 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 uh, John, I must inform you that uh, everything seems to be, well, uh, <laughs> fine, at least here in the park. I'm not seeing anything moves, at least yet. Uh, but I will keep you updated if there are any dinosaurs on your, um, on your dinosaur tour, all right? Because uh, right now this is just a little bit underwhelming, John. Ian, your job is not to enjoy the ride, but to make sure nothing is loose. This park only has a few more months till opening. We have to get this all under control. I know we can. Your T-Rex, John, it's getting out of the pin. Ian, this is Grant. If the Tyrannosaur approaches you, do not move. Ian, do not move. I'll see you. I'm curious how he's going to get this thing approved.
guessing it's too late to surrender. Nailed her, and the trike, his fast acting dodge, should kick in any second now. Ah man, that doesn't look very good! That's the thing! Rifle! No! 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 Don't move, Maldon! Don't move! Just let the train kick in! Yes, my dear. Look! She's becoming wobbly! She's having trouble deciphering what we even are! That seems to be the end of that. Oh, God, John. How the hell did your part go wrong so quickly? One, two, three, push! Okay. Woo! All right, compound, compound, this is Hammond. We have the Tyrannosaur trained and ready for recapture. This is insane. I never thought I'd be this close. Apex Predator of the Mesozoic. Don't get too happy about it. She could wake up at any moment. No. Those strengths have her down pretty good. For now, at least. This enclosure really needs to be fixed up along with the rest in the park. This is a big victory for us, but there's many more hurdles ahead, I can already tell. How's Ray doing over at the park security, getting everything locked back up and back on power? We'll turn to him in a minute. Right now, we quite uh, literally have a much bigger issue on hand. Well, I guess we can count this issue dealt with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, hello. 
Oh, I can't thank you enough for that quite timely rescue. Uh, hello, Alan. Uh, thanks so much for that. <laughs> you know, put my life in danger and then subsequently rescuing it. Hello, John. Hello. Uh, I found a problem. Haha, <laughs> seems you've dealt with it though. Yes, yes, uh, good job, Ian. <laughs> I really hate that, man. Alan, Ian, I suggest you guys take the surviving Ford Explorer back to the compound. We're gonna need all the Ranger Jeeps in circulation to get this mess under control. I feel bad for you, Alan. <laughs> now we're gonna have plenty of fun. Come on. So, what do you think of this place right now, Ian? You know, everything going on. Well, well, as much of a affront to God as this park is, it does have financial uh, potential. Alan, I think we are a part of something much bigger here. I don't think it's gonna go away quite as fast as uh, we hope it will. So let's get a little comfy and make sure our voices are heard here so things don't fall apart. Right, sounds like a plan. Without us, him is gonna get a lot more people killed. Ian, this is Ray Arnold. Just letting you know you're approaching the compound now. Stay in the vehicle. I know you do have been through a lot, but our day's just beginning to Well, it seems we've exited one nightmare and we're about to enter it. Ian, do you see that? It's right there, Mouse. I see it, I see it. Uh, uh, are you a fan, Dr. Grant? Are you kidding me? It's my favorite dinosaur. I gotta see this up close. The sick one doesn't count. I've gotta see her. Come on. At least I'm away from him. Look at the size of it. Wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Hey there. Wow. Wow. It's not even aggressive. Unbelievable. It's coming closer. few moments like this, I'm glad I came here. You are absolutely beautiful. And so docile. Poor 
more thing locked in this darn cage. Amazing. to tell Ellie about this. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Grant. Uh, Dr. Grant. Oh, God. Uh -huh. So, uh, we meet again. Uh, Ray Arnold was quite uh, persistent about you not leaving the vehicle. Uh, we need to get back to the compound as soon as possible. <sighs> I'm coming. I know everybody wants to look at the dinosaurs, but right now the situation is far too intense out there for it to be any level of safe. I need you two back at the compound now. All right, those two are heading back. That should be at least one weight that's it off my shoulders. Damn, damn. I'm losing more control than I'm gaining it. This whole park system's gonna ride. And I bet you it was that damn fat mongrel Nedry. It's gonna set me back weeks of work. I just hope those rangers can move in time. Ranger Team 3, Ranger Team 3, how is process going with those brachiosauruses? Alright, report to me back when you... Oh, Dr. Sattler. Hey, Mr. Arnold, have you seen Dr. Grant or Dr. Malcolm? They've been gone for a There's while. nothing to be worried about, Dr. Sattler. Ian and Alan are on their way back right now from the tour. As soon as we have them, that's one problem dealt with. One on a giant list. I know, and I hate being cooped up in this stupid building. I need to be out there helping them. Just stay close to the compound. We don't know exactly what's in that jungle right now. So many gates are open, it's just not safe. Oh, I hate this. I'm going outside to get some fresh air and check on the baby. <sighs> Back to work. Ranger Team 4! Ranger Team 4! Hey, little guy. It's me, Dr. Sattler. I hope you didn't get too lonely. Whoa, little guy. It's okay. You're safe. I need to get this guy's trust somehow. Here you go, little guy. Here you go. Here you go. Come on. It's okay. Come on. You can trust me. Come on. See? Humans are nice. Well, at least some of us anyway. You're so cute. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely.
absolutely incredible. We got friendlies. We got friendlies inbound. Two four explorers are turning back to the compound. Over. Oh, there's Grant. Malcolm. <sighs> All right, little guy, I gotta go. All right. Well, here we are. Albertosaurus. Well, this one's similar to T-Rex, but not nearly as destructive or dangerous still. It is not something you'd want to encounter. I better check the gate. Check everything I can. I have full faith in your abilities, Muldoon. Full faith. And I know you'll bring this dream back to life. And you have my full support. I wouldn't be too concerned with that just yet, John. We still have a lot of problems on our plate. Right now, I just need to make sure these damn gates are not falling apart. No, we do not want this predator getting out. Well, the gate does seem to be intact. Fences seem to be fine. Although the power is not on. Thank God there's still power in the compound. But these fences are a bit trickier than that. Geothermal power stations don't seem to work with them yet. But still, they are managing to keep enough inside their paddocks. Hopefully it stays this way. Without this fence on, this albatrosaurus could come at any moment. Barge it down. But I don't find that happening. Everything does seem to be fine. Perhaps it hasn't even noticed. <clears throat> Perhaps it hasn't even... No. No, this is not good. Oh, damn. It's been testing the fences, is it? There's a breakage here. It's been ramming into the gate. It knows it's not electrified. Damn it. I need to get to my tools. I have to get this fence fixed immediately. If this thing breaks out, it'll just be another damn issue for us. Oh, Muldoon, you're back. Everything in order? No, John, it's not good. What the hell? Where's the damn toolbox? Where'd it go? No, damn it. It must have fell out when the Rex toppled our car over. John, Muldoon, what's going on? The fence, it has a breach in it. Not large enough to escape, but the Albertosaurus has been testing its fence. It's going to break out if I can't get it fixed. Have to get to the compound now. Have to get there immediately. If that thing breaks out, it's just basically a smaller T-Rex. We all know we don't need that running around this damn island. That bloody compound. Well, at least we're finally back. Dr. Grant, 
Dr. Muldoon, welcome back to the compound. Everyone's been waiting for you inside. Uh, huh? Hey, we got friendlies inbound. Looks to be the Ranger Jeep. Must be Muldoon and Hammond returning from their patrols. Hammond and Muldoon? Yeah, finally. Let's get that gate ready and open for them. That's for you two. I suggest heading back inside. Immediately. It's the safest place on the island currently. Welcome back, Mr. Hammond. I hope everything went well. Uh, not quite. Uh, we're alive, but not quite as well as we were bought. Please open the gate, would you? We need to get in. Roger that, Mr. Hammond. Open the gate. You heard him. Open the gate. Roger that. Opening the gate now. Back up a bit. You don't want to get slapped by it, do you? Go on, Dr. Grant. Mrs. Sattler's waiting for you inside. Wait for me now. <laughs> All right, close the gate. Mr. Arnold, it is great to see you all once again. We've made it back, and this time in one piece. John, things have gone to chaos all over the park. I know you've probably seen some of it out there, but I don't know if you quite get the uh, gravity of our situation at the Mr. moment. Mr. Arnold, I know. I know everything is not as it should be, but we have the professionals and the best on our side. Hammond, where's all the specimens? <gasps> Grant! Ellie, finally. I thought I was going to lose oh, you. I not know what I had to put up with in that damn explorer. You were stuck in the explorer with Malcolm all day. You really are a trooper. Hmm? Uh. <laughs> well, I'll give John one thing. It uh, is a quite a beautiful location. It sure is quite a paradise when uh, <clears throat> things try to kill you. No. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Hammond, <coughs> excuse me, everyone. I need to find that damn two box. Where is it? We have urgency on our minds, people. Remember that. You don't have to remind me, Muldoon. If anyone needs me, I'll be on the radio. Fixing this park. I'll be rendezvousing with the other ranger teams. Remember, if you need me, I'll be on the radio, but only in case of emergencies. Ellie, tells me no matter how much they try and damage control, this is a lost cause. I don't know, Alan. I still think a lot of good can be Hello, done um, here. Everyone, everyone, uh, yes, uh, something is heading towards us. I saw the... I saw the jungle moving, heard the roar. Hammond, I think it'd be wise to have the security check it out. Come on. Get out of here. Open the bloody gate, would you? I need to leave. Fast. Copy that, Muldoon. Good luck to you boys and keep everyone safe. Well, you were sure in a hurry. Damn. Keep everyone safe. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Still. 
We could use a bit more reinforcement. What the hell? I better get inside. Make sure everyone's all right. Out of that. I'll keep a look out here. Damn. Hell, whatever, whatever's out there better not have come to us. You heard now, something Ian. big, did you? What do you mean? Big. Something okay. big's heading towards us. Come on, boy. Please, Dan. It's quite... I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to explain. We need to evacuate. We... We have to get out of here. We can't take this slightly. If we can't get the security we need... Excuse me, everyone. Where did you come from? Oh, God. I, uh, didn't mean to scare you guys. Uh, look, listen. Something very suspicious was heard just north of the compound. Moving over to the east. I suspect something is trying to get the sneak on us. So, therefore, Hammond, I think it's wise to get the security around the compound. We have all these VIPs here and only two guards. We need more men, more weapons. Otherwise, we're sitting ducks to whatever is breaking out of all these damn fences. I suggest at least three more men to watch the upper levels and to do some patrolling. Whatever out there, it's up ah! 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 It found us! Oh god, what is that thing? The Tyrannosaurus! Ah! 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 Someone find an escape route! Everyone, find an escape route now! I'll try and hold... He's right by the fire! Ah! What are we gonna do? Ah! I'll try and hold this thing up as long as I can! Now! Go! 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 You're gone! It's killing him! We have to get out of here now! He's heading towards the exit. We're trapped in here. What do we do? John. Surely you know what to do. Look up there. The window. You, can you guys better be right behind you me, first, you hear and me? We'll follow. Come on. Almost. We got him. Alright, Hammond. Who next? Come on. Everybody push! Push! He's out. Alright. There it is! Uh, I, I don't think standing still works on this one, guys. Don't try that! Try escaping! Way ahead of you. <laughs> what do we do? I have a plan. Hey, you! Over here! Come on! You know you want me. You. Look! concussion you gave him. Everyone, get out while you can. Stop the trap. No. No, he's just... Everyone, we're pulling out. 
All staff evacuated. All VIPs evacuated. This is Hunter 23. Moving out. Over. <sighs> For once, I gotta say, let's get the hell out of here. All right. We'll find our next plan later. We made it out alive. For now. Looks like our escape only and lasted so long. About no expenses spared. <sighs> and now we're stuck in unknown territory on an unknown part of the island. Who knows what's out loose around here? Well, yeah, it really seems like, uh, well, nothing went our way on this island at all. And now, hey. as expected, Ian, everything look. is divulging Over the there. chaos. What? What are you talking about, Alan? They're watching us. Are these, um, are, are these metasauruses? No, not at all. Parasaurolophus. It should be quite peaceful. Peaceful? That sounds good to me. You're welcome to stay. Come on. Anyone here better with machines than us? Come on. There's got to be a user's manual somewhere. Maybe in the hood of the truck. Why don't you go look in there, Ham, and see if you can find something? I'm gonna tinker around a little more with it, see what I can do. Come on. I think I got it. Come on. Almost. I think I'm onto something here. We might just be in business. And. That didn't sound like you fixed it. No, I think I broke it even more. Damn, now we're really stuck out here. I gotta stop this thing from catching fire. Damn, damn, damn. 
Well, there's some smart ideas now. Seems Dr. Grant isn't the only one with a curse on machines. Now everybody settle down. I managed to get the emergency beacon in the back of the truck working, and managed to send out a distress call. All Ranger Jeeps are tuned to that station. Of course, all Ranger Jeeps are out in motion right now, trying to get the Or Island under order. So someone is bound to have heard it. And someone is definitely on the way. I just know it. I would not ignore an distress call, especially one coming from John Hammond. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Still, it's just expected to wait here. Wait for some creature to come find us before a ranger does. Look, if we just stay put, they'll... All right, there's no staying put. Something's near us. I sound like a T-Rex. Still, those rangers are going to be coming to this location. I think we should split up. Two teams of three. Three of us go scout out for help. Three of us stay here alert the rangers when they arrive of where the others are. This island should have emergency beacons placed all around all known structures. So it shouldn't be long before we would bound to find one. Hammond, I highly suggest you stay here with the truck. I'm going to stay with John and at the truck. You're in no condition to go trudging around the jungle. I understand. Me and Sattler will stay here at the truck. I'll stay with John too. Keep everyone calm and safe. You guys go out there and see what you can find. But don't go too far and make sure you are armed to the teeth. Whatever's out there surely is. And that's what makes these trucks so much better than the regular Ranger vehicles. These are meant for this exact kind of scenario, and they are loaded with weapons inside. Oh, great. Uh, Mr. Arnold, surely you can come with us and let Ian stay with the three. I think I've had enough adventures with Dr. Malcolm. Come on now, Dr. Grant. You two make a good team, whether you like to admit it or not. I'll stay here with Hammond. You and the guard get out there. Yeah, the name's Elliot. It's not important, but there it is. Anyway, yeah, I'll take Dr. Grant and Dr. Malcolm out with me. Come on. Back here in the back of the truck is where all the arms should be. Got a classic here for myself. Mr. Arnold, I suggest you take a look back there, too. I'm sure there's something that'll fancy you. Godspeed, everyone. Stay safe out there. We can just wait it out. We don't have to use violence. You're not going to use that, are you? I don't know, and I don't care. If I got to defend myself, I will. If I got to defend you guys, I will. If I got to use this thing, I will. Everyone around here thinks there's some macho man. All right, team. No time like the present. Let's get moving on. We have a, a beacon to find, hopefully, before we find our own fate out there. Hammond, stay put. We'll be back if we can. If you guys find the rangers before us, let them know where we are. Well, time to go have another fun adventure out in Death's company. Ugh, at least I didn't bring the grandkids.
It was Rex we heard. No doubt about it. That thing can't sneak up on us. We'll see it coming. Hey, Arnold, I'm going to go use the ladies' room. Dr. Sapper, what? Whoa! Whoa, Jesus! Get back! Dr. Sapper! Get in the car! Get in the car now! It's armored! <laughs> Normally I'd be against these shooting back. If it saves us, do what you must, Arnold! Where you heading, John? <laughs> On this goddamn island! Ah, still biting, huh? Well, you gotta take the other way around. Yeah. Take it down for now. I can just slip past her. Looks down to me. Okay. Moving in. Ah! He's back up! Damn it! Good. That's the core of me. Only one thing to do now. Got no choice. Hey, over here. Come on. I know you want me. Dr. Seven, him, get the hell out of here! Whoa. Come on, John! We have to bail now! Uh, I got uh, you! Uh, uh. Oh, look at uh. yeah, I've never been so close oh, to geez. it before. Oh, jeez! Don't look back! Just keep uh, running! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. I can't run anymore, Dr. Sattler. I'm too weak. You have Come to go on, without man. me. We're not you out. have to go. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Over here! Over here! Go! Dr. Sattler! Muldoon! Come on then. You're still alive. I've got you. Come on, help me with the old man. Let's go. Come on, John. Come on. Okay. One, two, okay. three. Oh, thank God you showed up, my boy. Thank God. Now listen. We are split up. Three of us went to go look for rescue, and Mr. Arnold, he... Where are they? Protected us. Or he made it out. He's still at right the there. truck. We have to see if he's still alive. I agree. Everybody load up into the Jeep. We have to move quickly. See if we can recover Arnold, and then move on to the other three. Time is ticking. We have to find them before a predator does. We have to find Grant. You two stay in the jeep. I'll move ahead. 
just scout out the area. According to your story, he shouldn't be far from the jeep. Seen better days. Engine looks busted. Who clowned that one up? It's not a hard fix. It's weird, I don't see anything. Some blood, scratches. Not nearly enough blood for a raptor kill. Maybe he made it out. I don't see anything around here. Some bullet casings. No gun. Uh, not seen anything. Damn it, where did he go? There's not enough blood for there to be. Huh? Mr. Arnold! Oh, thank God. Listen, we managed to. Uh... Oh, God! Oh, God! God! Oh, God! They caught him! No time to explain. We have to get out of here. Where did you say Dr. Grant and Dr. Malcolm went? They went south of here. We have to hurry. Did you right find there. Arnold? We gotta move. All right, perfect. We found a ranger outpost. Looks like an unused tour vehicle and a watchtower. Each and every one of these was built in with a radio pack. Scavenge around. See anything you can find. We need it. We're gonna need it on our travels to whatever rescue we can muster up. But first, we gotta muster it up. Are we looking inside the watchtower? You guys stay down here, keep an eye out, okay? Don't let anything get the jump on us. All right, time to get up this nightmare thing. Come on, don't you fall on me. The storm damaged a lot of things. Hopefully this tower holds up. Oh, I hear it creaking. Don't like that sound. 
come on. Ah, yes, a radio pack. And some firepower, too. We're saved. Hey, the radio pack's up here. Thank and God. And I managed to get it working. Finally. Calling in as a rescue now. Uh, Alan, you may want to look out. We're not alone anymore. Oh, damn. Elliot, look out. There's a Dilophosaurus just below the tower. Should be back again. This thing spits, you know. Stay back. Keep moving back. What's down there? Hold on. Let me get. Oh! Oh, your tower's tipping! Oh, crap! Ian, what are we gonna do? Stay back. Ah, spit on me! Ah, my eye! My eye! Oh, God! Oh, Alan! Oh, guys! Guys, look out! I think the tower is gonna fall! Ah, what are we gonna do? Guys, hey, ah, hey, are you okay? Hey, guys, my eyes, am I alive? Uh, am I alive? You're alive, Ian. We all are somehow. Hey, come on, I got you. Damn, that thing's spitting your eyes. Yuck. Here, try and get it out. I hope. I hope. Oh no. Guys, we can't just let this thing die. What are you talking about? It just tried to kill you two. It doesn't know what it's doing. It's just hunting. Come on. We can't just sit here and let this thing be crushed. Come on. One, two. Come on. It's not budging at all. Come on. It's not even moving a little bit. It's gonna die, you guys. We have to do something. What are you just sitting there? It's a living thing. You guys are unbelievable. Come on. It deserves to... Where'd it go? It left. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, cleared out my eyes. It was not fun. Now I know what Nedry went through. All right, listen up. In the time I had, I managed to get the radio working and called us for an evac. We're going to be heading to the port of the island, ready to pick us all up. The only issue now is we got to rendezvous with them there. We've called them. Now we got to do our part and go get it. Luckily, we won't be defenseless getting there. That's the best news all around. And even better... The radio pack's still intact. So here, put this on, Dr. Grant. We're gonna need to make sure we can keep constant radio contact with the rescue at all times. <laughs> all right, let me just take that. Uh, Mr. Grant, he doesn't exactly have the, uh, well, best luck with machines, you see. They don't really like him. And I think I'll take the backpack. It's heavy, but I don't want to risk getting off the island. Right, well, fair enough. Listen, we need to find the other three. Get out of here. Rescue is afoot. We're on the cusp of getting out of here with our lives. We just gotta make it there. All right, come on, you two. I know it seems like we've been walking forever. And that's because we have. Yeah, We just gotta find a spot where that damn radio can get a signal. It's our only hope of getting off this island. 
I'm sure you all are just as lost as I am. But at least we know we're somewhere within the radio signal. As long as we're getting static, it means there's something. It's weak. But the more we wander, the better chance we have of hitting a clear spot. So just keep your eyes peeled and your ears open for anything. The radio, predators, you know the drill. We're not exactly in some regular jungle. We're not worried about pumas anymore. Much more dangerous creatures in this place. My, my, this uh, backpack is uh, really proven to be uh, an, an issue. You're the one who took it from me. Huh? You said I shouldn't have it. That I'm bad with electronics. You walked yourself into this one, Malcolm. I can tell you, John, I'd uh, much rather be in this kind of pain at the moment than, um broken radio and no hope of getting off of this island. Ah, oh, Cabaret Elliot! Uh, sir, Cabaret Elliot, I'm happy? hearing something. This is Blackbird. Uh, the radio, Elliot. the radio's going off. What? Is Finally. anyone copy? This might be our chance. We got your signal a while ago, but you went dark. Come in. I repeat, ground team, come in. Hello. Hello. This is Operator Elliot. I'm on the ground and I have survivors with me. I repeat, there are survivors on Isla Nublar. As of now, I have Dr. Gre- Alan Grant and Dr. Ian Malcolm with me. But there are others lost on the island. I repeat, we have others lost on the island split up from us. John Hammond, Robert Muldoon, and Ellie Sattler are still unaccounted for on the island. I repeat, Ellie Sattler, Robert Muldoon, John Hammond. Thank God you came in. We have a chopper rendezvous to the island now. He'll be there shortly. But we don't have time to make multiple stops. It's too dangerous down there and the storm is approaching. We're going to need to get you all in one go. So make sure you can link up. Well, Hammond, the radio is officially busted. We have no contact with anyone. We don't even know if other people are still alive. Alan's alive. I just know he is. He has to be out there somewhere. No one's giving up hope yet. Just another damn hurdle in our way. That's all. Now, Elliot is one of our elite guards. Ex-special forces, in fact. He will keep the others secure. No doubt about it. Anyone can survive this island. It is Elliot. I have full trust in the man. He will bring Grant and Malcolm to us back safely. I thought the same thing. I thought I knew the raptors in and out, and then now they're on top. We just gotta figure out a way off this island. Get back with our people. So, until then, I'm just gonna keep tankering with this damn radio. Come on. Triceratops, the sick one from earlier. That's nice, but remember, they're very territorial, so observe them from afar. Mr. S- Miss Sattler! Mrs. Sattler, what are you doing? Get back in the Jeep! Triceratopses are not friendly. They are extremely territorial. What are you doing? N- now, do Miss Sattler, I the really creature. suggest you get back in the Jeep and do not approach it. It is unpredictable. She's leaving already. Ellie, would you? She's not even you listening to us. Quiet? You're gonna startle it. Damn. You 
recognize me, don't you? It's me, your friend. <laughs> Guys, guys, she's calming down. My God, Robert, do you see that? She's approaching it and it's calm. It's not even showing any signs of aggression. I can turn around in a moment. She's being an idiot. She needs to get back to the Jeep. What is she doing? She's not some Disney princess. Easy, easy. There you go, good girl. Just look at you, you're absolutely beautiful. Hey guys, are you seeing this? I never thought I'd get to see her up and about. I knew it, you do recognize me, don't you? You're just so gentle. Okay, okay, I miss you too. Miss Sutton, I highly advise you return to the Jeep at once. There is a Tyrannosaurus in the area. We need to go. Oh, no, 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 this is bad, this is bad.
seems to be leaving. So, that's good. Ali, are you all right? You did it! You did it! You fought off your first Rex! I'm so proud of you! You pinch me. I can't believe I just saw that up close. I cannot believe we just got front row seats to that. <laughs> and you should consider yourself lucky, Mr. Muldoon. Not everyone gets front row seats to such a prehistoric classic rumble. Oh, what a clash. Right, yeah, classic. Now, let's get out of this hellhole. Does anyone copy? This is Operator Elliot on the ground. On Island. Ian's here, too. Get off the radio. Listen, we have, we're still alive out here. We're looking to regroup with you guys wherever you are. Do you copy? Robert, Mr. Hammond, Ellie Sattler, do you copy? It's them. <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta go. Please don't forget me. Remember me. I'll be back to see you. Come on, Ellie. We made contact. The, yes. This is Robert Muldoon. We copy you loud and clear. What's going on? Rendezvous with us at these coordinates. We have an evacuation lined up. All we need to do is meet up and make it to the chopper and we're all off this island. Roger that. Relay the coordinates now. All right, just meet us at that location. Get there as fast as you can. We're moving on foot, but we'll reach there as soon as we can. We're gonna get off this island, okay? Ellie, Ellie, are you okay? Are you safe? Roger that, she is here and she's safe. Somehow. We got a lot to explain when we get back, but it's damn good to hear from you boys. We'll be meeting up with you as soon as we can. Head to that spot, we'll be doing the same. This is Robert Muldoon, out. Thank God for that town rescue. <laughs> what did I tell you, boys? Life uh, finds a way. We're not out of this yet. Let's not get too cocky just now. We still have to walk there. We need to move. Fit. I hear something. Something in the jungle. Real vague, Dr. Grant. Something's always in the jungle. Relax. We'll be all right. Guys, get this thing off of me! You're not gonna cut me that easy! I've been one of the big ones! I'm not dying to a little one like you! Guys! Something! Why did you stick? I've got you now! Guys! Not doing anything. Ah, stop. Did that hurt? Ah, 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 Well, <laughs> thanks for the uh, rescue there, boys. Really came in handy. Rescue? I couldn't even reach my gun in time. That wasn't me. <clears throat> Who shot at it? Huh? I don't believe my eyes. Well, looks like, uh, the reports were false. We got reports that you were dead. Right. About that. My death was greatly exaggerated. Let me tell you, though. Surviving with one arm has not been easy. And quite frankly, gentlemen, I am over it. So, if you all are just about done getting mauled, <laughs> we can get the hell out of here. I overheard you guys on the radio with the escape and all. Thank God I was able to find you. I doubt I'd be able to get much off this island with uh, one working arm. You sure saved us back there. Damn good to see you, Arnold. Any of us humans on this island are damn good to see us, especially a friendly face like you. Yeah. Never did I think I'd be happy to see other people. Nevertheless, I'm not here to slow you guys down. Just consider me part of the group now. Don't worry about my arm. Been able to survive on my own for these last two days. I can make it to that sweet, right. sweet escape route. I see you still got your gun. 
Any ammo? Hardly, sadly. I used a lot of it to save Mr. Malcolm back there. Just a handful of bullets left. All right. I think I got a mag left. AKA, we can't go tangoing with anything big. We have to stick to the shadows. Maneuver there as sneakily as possible. No trouble. You hear me? <laughs> I don't believe anyone here was uh, trying to uh, piss off the local wildlife. No. But we gotta be even quieter now. The warmth of your comfy beds is so close, gentlemen, you can almost smell it. Let's just keep the grind on. We're almost out of this hellhole. Wait a minute. You can smell your bed? It's disgusting. I'm hearing a lot of commotion. You guys stay back. I'll investigate it. No doubt this is something dangerous. Some bloodthirsty creature, huh? Hopefully it's not a Rex or a Velociraptor. Whatever it is, it sounds mean. <laughs> Are those two rats screaming at each other? Whatever. Better get them the hell off our car. Hey, hey, everyone, hey. Ooh, ooh. Get the hell out the car! Oh! Ah! Human afoot! Human afoot! I'll shoot you! I'll shoot you! Huh? Just you, huh? Feeling brave? Suddenly you're outnumbered. Go on, piss off. We got work to do. Um, Elliot, that is a tour vehicle. Alright, let me get on the radio. Muldoon, Muldoon, do you copy? This is Elliot once again. We've made it to the rendezvous point somehow faster than you. Must have been closer. Still on our way. Well, uh, <laughs> at least I don't gotta kill you. Pack it free. I almost smell it. Alright, let's clean her up. Get this baby ready for our evacuation, huh? Call it Noah's Ark. It's about to get us the hell out of here. Instead of a flood, one hell of a rainstorm's coming through. Total monsoon. There's no way we'll be able to get off the island once it hits. So, let's get in the ark and hop on out of here. That, that, that went to right on the track. How are we going to be able to drive it? Well, as you can see, the truck here is not exactly hooked up to the line. Meaning it's an unmodified Ford Explorer. Meaning, a regular Ford Explorer. This baby can drive. There. Okay. Go ahead, Alan. Try her on. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> ha ha! Success. We got the kitten purring again. All right, everyone. Blackbird, Blackbird, do you copy? Find an LZ now. 
We're linking up with the others as we speak. We got our moving vehicle working, and we'll be on our way to the LZ as fast as possible. See you soon. Copy that, operator. Keep them safe. Will do. All right, everyone. Load up into the Ford Explorer. We need to get moving. Any moment now, our friends will be joining us. I gave them our exact coordinates. <laughs> Make sure Why? not to make any mistakes this time. <laughs> Damn it! We forgot something in the drugs! Keep your head down, Ian! Keep your head down, Ian! Fire into the brush! Crawl towards me! Hurry it up! Come on! Get into the jeep! No! I'll hold him off! Damn it! Followed me! I knew they were following me! Terribly sorry we're late, but we made it. Any room in the car for us? This one's out of gas. Of course there is. Just get moving into the car. Move it. Damn it. Raptors again. Massa, don't have the time. Come on, Mr. Milton. Let's go. You made it! Thank God! Uh, and Ian made it too! Thank God for that! Uh, all upside down, blood rushing to my head. Uh, come on, Mr. Hammond, we're almost there. Now, now, Elliot, my boy, how old are you? Tony, no need for that though. Come on! You have your whole life ahead of you. This nightmare, and I will ensure that I get my people out of this nightmare. You, you must secure their freedom and get them to the helicopter safely. An old man like me can't. Give me this. No, sir! I'm to protect you! That is over now. Consider yourself the protector now of them. Go on. I won't see another person killed because of my creation. Sir! You can't do this! I'm the boss. Go! I've lived a long life. It's only poetic that I've been killed by my creation. What in the hell is the old man doing? John! I don't know. What is he doing? John, I'm here! Come on! Wait! No, we can't leave him! Go on, you guys! Leave! Now! Come on, then! You can take on an old man like me! Come on! In World War II, you know! This is Blackbird! Blackbird, we are approaching the LZ as we speak! I repeat, this is Blackbird, we are approaching the LZ as we speak! Landing in about two minutes! Are you guys ready? I don't want to be stranded on this island with you! I know this pledgy predator is big enough to knock me out of the sky. Are you ready? Over. We are nearly there. We're driving as fast as we can. Step to the LZ and you will see us. We'll be pulling up in the Jurassic Park tour vehicle. Kind of colorful. You won't miss it. Don't worry. We'll be there. Just be there. We're so sick of this island. I hear you. I hear you. I think you'll be sick of this place. It's beautiful. Well, aside from the creatures trying to kill you, <laughs> Be there shortly. Don't drag your feet. We're landing now. I repeat, we're landing at the LZ now. You boys better have the right coordinates. There won't be a second chance until after that storm passes. I'm 
Not you guys will be living after that. We've landed! Put that damn pedal to the metal and get over here! Company. Big company. You boys better hurry! We're hurrying! We're going as fast as we can! The Ford Explorer is not exactly known for its speed, you know? It's kind of a mom car. We're almost there, though. Just hold out for us! We're being chased! <laughs> Swerve or something! Get it off of us! Ha! That's the dust! Nice driving, Grant! Better hurry it up! I, I see them after us, Grant. I know! I'm trying! <laughs> I saw you go. Starting up the engine. Hurry up. Haul your ass to this damn chopper so we can get the hell out of here. Don't even think. Just run to the top. Come on, Alden. He's got a little bit more to go. Oh, damn. Don't look at it. Just keep running. Come on. Everyone, violent, violent. Let's go. Let's go.
Yeah. Oh, God. Just when I thought the nightmare wouldn't end. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this helicopter feels beautiful. Ellie, take one look out the window before we leave. We won't ever be saying this again. Yeah, I'm definitely over it. But I am a little sad I'll be missing my dino friends. Sad? Sad? <laughs> After what we've been through, I could just reach out the window and tell those dinosaurs to piss off. Well, at least I know they'll be all right without us here. Possibly even better. Of course they made it. They don't need our help anymore. <laughs>